Hi, this is Renee. Welcome to Green Earthworm Farms. I did a video earlier where we did some, uh, I do, we show how to do worm castings, how to separate them. And a lot of people commented on my tremble here. This is a homemade manual tremble. And it's, it took me two days to put together, but I had most of the wood and things like that. So it only cost me about $50 to put all this together. The main two things that I needed were two 35 gallon barrels. I also used a 10 foot galvanized pipe. That's the one and a half inch, the type that they put under the ground is galvanized. It doesn't rust. I used four of the uh, two by fours. I used six of the one by twos and used two pieces of 24 uh, inches, the uh, two by six. And also we needed, um, this is the two by six here. Okay, put one here, one on that side. I also used, uh, this is a three foot, one eighth inch mesh. And this is a quarter inch, one inch mesh. This is two feet. This is three feet. Okay. And that's mainly the main part of the green. Of course, you're going to need screws and a couple of other pieces of wood. But that's your main uh, ingredients for this. Now, the way that we did this was first I cut the barrels one third, four for one. And the bottom part of that barrel, as you can see over here, I used the bottom part because I needed to use at least, uh, leave at least an inch and a half of the bottom to when we put the material in here, it'll catch it. And as you're spinning it, it tends to come back a little bit. This will stop it from dropping on the ground. The other top part, I took the top of that barrel and I made this with it. And what it is, is basically uh, cut uh, four half circles and left enough material to keep it very strong to hold this together. I uh, did the same thing with the other top of the barrel, which is on that side. It's got four half circles. And as you can see, the galvanized pipe goes right through the middle. On each side of that, if you can come over here, like a, we can come up here you have pieces of wood attached to it with screws and there's a screw going through the middle of it and it attaches to the galvanized pipe and that's what holds the the uh, assembly in place okay and this is like I said this was a 10 foot uh, galvanized pipe and I bend it, if you can show the bends here. This area here and this area here, I use that tree. I put it through there and I did the bend and they came out really good because you know, they, it's very easy to turn. The way, the way I shaped it makes it very easy to turn the whole assembly. Now, on uh, putting the, the, one eighth of an inch and a quarter together. I went ahead and as she can show this. But well, right here, the quarter inch has like a zigzag. I did it with a, a smaller wire and put that together. I put the both barrels together, wrap this around, put that in. And the eighth of an inch has more like a little, if she can show this area here, right here, where my finger is. As you can see, they're like little, is like in bed needed together with a small piece of wire. I did that in several places, put all that together, then put both of them in this area. And then I attach four, if you can show here, there's two screws on each one of these. This is a one by two. Okay, I put them on the outside. 
instead of the inside because you don't want the worms to get hit. You know, I've seen people do that and I don't believe that that's the right way. So these are on the outside. They keep this assembly together, very strong, okay? There's two screws here, there's two screws on that side, keep everything together. The way that the barrel, the whole barrel assembly is, is uh, held together through the one by, I mean the two by six had a hole in the middle. The pipe goes through it. On this other side has two screws. I don't know if you can show that. Yeah, you can show it. They're right here, okay? They rotate around and they hold this whole thing in place. And on this side, the same thing. We have a piece of wood, like I showed before. It's holding this whole thing, this whole assembly in place. Okay? Now the frame was done with, like I said, these are uh, 24 inch, two by sixes on each side. On this one, I cut a, uh, an inch and a half off so that I can, I was able to put the barrel in very easily. Okay, this top part here, this top part here was cut off. It's easy to put it in and out. It doesn't weigh very much. So you can take this whole assembly off. Uh, these are seven feet, nine inches, two by four on each side with uh, the two two by sixes is the assembly for the top part. Then we put the legs together. The frame? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, the legs are also two by fours. And on the bottom, this is the other uh, one by twos. Okay, on each side for strength, I put that in to be able to put this plastic, the, the plastic on both sides, it frames the, the bottom part and it makes all the, all the material go down. All the castings go straight down. Nothing is wasted, nothing comes to the side. As you turn in this, all the castings hit this plastic and they go to the bottom. I also added two wheels. That way I can move this around to wherever I need it. It's very light, easy to pick up. Just pick up one side, you the, can move the whole thing. The height is taller on that end. Of one. course, you have an angle. And it took me a while to figure out the correct angle to make the material move in, you know, in, in this direction and not move too fast, too slow. The angle that I have it on is really, really good. It took a while to get it right, so it, uh, you know, I cut pieces over there, put the other pieces. And here at the end, when all the material comes down, it's gonna end up in here. All the large things that cannot go through the eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, everything falls here. And this helps a lot. This is just a piece of cardboard. As it turns, it hits here and it goes down, okay? All the big stuff here and all the worms that there, I separate the worms through lights and the big stuff goes to the garden, the worms go back into the bins to do this all over again, okay? So hopefully that helped out a little bit. Let us know in the comments if uh, this is what uh, you guys wanted to see and just have a great day. Thank you for watching.